Alright guys, it's Bucky and welcome back to your 35th CSS tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about overriding styles. So for example, let's go ahead and take a look at this website that we built before. Every style on every single page is the same. But what if you come across a situation where you have all your web pages the same, but there's one web page that you might want to do a little something different. Maybe you want all the paragraphs um, bigger or maybe you want all the headers to be a different color well you don't have to uh, you know throw fit because there's a simple way that you can override the styles on an external style sheet using the old style tags that we learned before and this is where the term cascading comes into the, uh, effect when we're talking about cascading style sheets or yeah that's what they're called so anyways in order to override a style let's go ahead and take a look at our main styles first we have our headings blue our paragraphs red and our links orange so say for example on this page instead of our headings being blue we want our headings to be green well in order to change all our headings to green all we would need to do is this you know those style tags that I told you guys to take out before we'll go ahead and throw those in again style and of course remember type equals text CSS and go ahead and put the ending style tag in there too and now go ahead and write your CSS rule so for example if we wanted to change header ones go ahead and change this to color green and now check this out even though we have an external style sheet saying that our headers are supposed to be blue we went ahead and we overrode that by throwing in this internal style tags in our web page right here and now when we go ahead and refresh the website instead of having blue headers we now have green headers so the point I'm trying to say is this in general this is like an outline of rules we have to follow but anytime that we want to change a specific rule on our web page we can just go ahead and throw those style tags in and these styles will apply to only this web page and not the entire website so for example on this web page we change the headers to green but for the rest of the web page they're going to be blue still and that brings me to another point the concept of cascading is this you're going to get all your rules right here just like you imported them just like you typed them in directly there and then later on it's going to see alright actually I want my headers to be green and since this was the most recent rule that's why they're green so for example if you went ahead and copy this and pasted it right here you'd have two header rules the top one would say make my headers blue and later on it would say make my headers green well how does CSS know what one you want to use the way it determines what one you want to use is it looks at the most recent rule so check this out maybe this will help clarify things if I go ahead and copy this and paste it in at the top right there give you a little space to work with check it out now we're saying alright make our headers green but later on we're telling it to make our headers blue so what happens when we save this go to the index page and refresh our headers are now blue so why are they blue now even though we have this style tag in this web page it's because you told it to go green first and then later on you told it to go blue so since blue was the most recent that's where it went and again if we copy this or cut it and make it green since it's the most recent it'll change it to green and leave the rest of your pages blue so that is um how you override styles and again you never actually want to put the style tags above the external style sheet because the only reason you would have style tags is to override what's in the style sheet so having any of these style tags above would be worthless so anyways the common practice of making web pages is this go ahead and import all the rules that you need before you start doing the nitty gritty stuff and then all the fine changes that you want to make you want to put them in style tags and these will give you all the custom differences for each web page so anyways that is how everyone always sets up their CSS in the web pages and this gives you a lot of control to give your web pages exactly the look that you're looking for 
So anyways, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be starting to talk about how to layer our websites and make them look awesome. But for now, that's all you get. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video.